Hey everybody, I'm Bill, the Hill Country Prepper. I want you to be informed so that you can be prepared. I went to put on my hiking boots last week and when I tried to lace them up, the shoelace broke. So I'm out here today and I got to looking at them and they're in pretty bad shape. So I figured while I had to replace the lace, I'd also clean them up a little bit. Let me show you how it's done. First thing I'm going to do is remove the old shoelace from it. Now this is not the one that I broke. I've already taken that boot lace out. You want to do next get a nice horsehair brush and just give this thing a real good brush you see it's got grass all kind of stuff in there so let's give it a good brushing try and get all that dirt out and this one here I've got to get inside there get all that grass out I guess these boots are probably about six, seven years old. They've held up pretty well. Want to make sure you try and get all that dirt and grass out. Okay, those little pieces of grass get in anywhere. Next, I'm going to take some mink oil. Got a rag here I've been using. Rub that in real good. Want to make sure you get all those seams so you can already tell the difference where the mink oil is and where the mink oil is not. That leather is pretty dry. Want to get all that leather real good. Get down in those seams and those threads. I'm going to finish this up and I'll show it to you when I'm done. Once you've got all that mink oil on there, you want to come back with your rag. Wipe off all that excess that might have been in there. Just kind of help rub those into the seams. Just give it a real good wipe down like that.
boy what a difference and I like these Keens I really do like I said I've had them six or seven years about the time I bought mine my oldest son had bought a pair of Merrells to take to the uh, Philmont Scout Ranch so we bought him a nice nice pair of Merrells and uh, he wore them out there nine days later 120 miles of hiking he literally tore them up went back to the sporting goods store and they gave us a replacement pair they couldn't believe because we they looked on the receipt he'd only had them for about a month and we told him what he'd done he said nope you're getting a new pair so they they replaced them he still has them but uh film not sure tore them up but uh no i really like these canes you can see what a see what a difference that made now i'm just going to let them dry and after they dry up we'll lace them up Hey, if you're getting value out of this video, why don't you press down on that thumbs up and give me a like. And if you're not a subscriber yet, why not? Subscribe right now. And if you press on that notification bell, you'll get notified each and every time I upload some new content. So do it now. Here's the laces that I'm going to be using. I'm taking these out of a pair of uh, hiking boots. Uh, these are some Eddie Bowers. And uh, they look like they're really nice, but they really are pieces of crap. Um, found these at Dress Shoe Warehouse one day, uh, $25. I figured that's not bad. So I wore them a little bit, just to, you know, around town. And this past summer, took them to Colorado with us and uh, took them horseback riding. And it just really showed how, how cheap the made in China cheap knockoff boots are now those Keens they're made in China too but here's the difference $25 versus $140 so I guess the point there don't go cheap buy quality because um, if you don't this is what you're gonna get and that's what I got I mean they look nice there's nothing wrong with the shoelaces I might have to swap them out here. Uh, I don't know if the colors are going to match, but hell, they're hiking boots. Who cares? All right, let's go ahead and get these out. Let's start lacing up the Keens. You know, and I might, I might try to take those down to the boot repair, see if they can glue them on. But you know, I'm not going to put a whole lot of money into them. Yeah, those aren't going to match. But I'm going to go ahead and lace them in there. I'll just have to replace them again with something that looks a little bit better. I hate laces that aren't even. I don't know about you, but it makes me freaking crazy.
I had thought about rather than using these old boot laces getting some paracord but I said you know let me just try these first eh, that might not look too bad I mean they're just hiking boots come on it's not like I'm wearing them to a dance recital or anything All right, let me get the other pair done and we'll see what they look like. I'm gonna to have to relace these and I'll tell you why. I got mixed up on my over and unders. So anyway, what I wanna show you, this is like a paracord shoelace and it's got this fabric around the inner core. A lot of times, you know, I don't know if you noticed when I was untying them, before taking them off the other pair of boots, a lot of times you get up here to the end and it wants to get stuck because what it's doing and all that fabric is kind of bunching up on the end there. What you want to do, simple and easy, take this and squeeze it so it stretches it out, makes it thinner, I think it'll pull right out. Anyway, let me get this done, I'll show it to you. Well, there we have it, folks. One old pair of Keen hiking boots, cleaned up, waterproofed, relaced with some repurposed boot laces from another pair of hiking boots. Do me a favor, leave me a comment down below and tell me of an item that you've repurposed for something else. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. It's a beautiful day here in the Texas Hill Country. Hope it's a nice day wherever you are too. Thanks. So, got to looking at them. They're in pretty bad shape, so I'm gonna come out here and replace the lace for one.